now entering week two of the experiment. There are two parts to the experiment we're going to be conducting this week. As you can remember, in week one, we prepared our own sample of alum. This week, we're going to collect it and take the mass of our alum that we created in week one. After you've recorded this amount in your lab notebook, which will therefore lead to the percent yield, we can move on to taking out a sample for testing the pH and taking out another sample for testing the melting point. After determining the physical properties, you're going to make sure to record all the data in your lab notebook. But before we can start any of this part of the experiment, we need to start the main part of the experiment for week two. So the main experiment for week two is we're going to be given an unknown, which contains alum plus another salt, and we're going to be taking this through a series of reactions to create the precipitate barium sulfate. After we collect, dry, and weigh the barium sulfate, we can therefore take that amount and determine the amount of alum that was in our unknown. And this will help us determine the chemical composition of the alum. Now in week two, the supplies that you're going to be using are 6 molar hydrochloric acid, 0.1 molar barium chloride, and you're also going to have an unknown which contains alum and an unknown salt mixture. Now, when you're taking your unknown, you need to record the unknown number in your lab notebooks, as well as recording the concentrations of the solutions. You're also gonna have the waste jars for the barium filtrate and the barium precipitate. So towards the end of your experiment, make sure to come and throw your waste in here. Now remember that you're gonna be using barium and the hydrochloric acid, so you need to be wearing your gloves, your goggles, and closed toed shoes. Now the first step of your experiment is going to be to weigh out about 0.5 to 1 gram of the unknown. In my weighing paper, I have about 0.6342 grams. I'm now going to add this to my beaker and add 100 milliliters of deionized water. Now I'm going to stir this until the unknown dissolves completely. Now, once the unknown has completely dissolved, you're going to add about 5 milliliters of the HCl solution to the beaker. Now, you can see bubbles slowly start to form, so I'm going to shut the flame off. And the next step is going to be to add 50 milliliters of the barium chloride while stirring. You can see a white precipitate start to form and now once again you're going to heat the solution for about 10 minutes. Now that 10 minutes have passed I shut off the flame and I'm going to carefully hold the beaker because it's still going to be hot and place it on the table. I'm then going to cover the beaker with the wash glass because the precipitate will remain inside. Alright guys, we're now going to move on to the filtering part of the experiment. Um, before we begin, I'll say refer to page 7 in your packets for the filtering setup. Before we filter, we're going to take our filter paper once again. We're going to make a cone. After doing so, we're going to place it in our funnel. Once again, we're going to use the sold water to wet the edges so that it will stick into the funnel. After doing that, we're going to take our precipitate and begin to filter. Now, as you're filtering, please read your packets. It will give you more details on the specific way to filter this precipitate. While you're waiting for your filtering process to finish up, you're going to obtain the alum that we prepared in week one. After you've taken the mass of all the alum that you prepared in week one and recorded it in your lab notebook, then you're free to take samples out in order to test the physical properties. We're going to be testing the melting point and the pH using techniques shown to you by your professor. This is the melting point apparatus that you're going to be using to measure the melting point of your alum. Again, your professor is going to instruct you how to use this. We're going to be testing the pH 
by dissolving a small sample of your alum into water and testing the pH using litmus paper, which will also be instructed to you by your professor. Right. Now that the filtration is completed, we're going to wash our precipitate three times with 10 milliliters of hot water. Now that we've washed our precipitate three times and allowed all the liquid to run through, we're going to transfer our precipitate and our filter paper to a previously dried and weighed crucible. As you can see, I'm only going to put on the lid halfway to allow oxygen to get in and we're going to start to ignite our precipitate. As you can see, I'm charring off the paper from the precipitate as described on page nine in your lab notebook. Um, we're going, I'm just observing to see when the precipitate turns white and when all the paper burns off and then we're going to weigh it. Now that my crucible is cool, I'm going to take the weight of the crucible, the lid, and my barium sulfate inside. After I record this mass in my lab notebook, I'm going to repeat the steps of heating, cooling, and weighing. I'd say two to three times until you until your masses agree between 0 0.005 grams. This shows that you've achieved a constant mass.